Hi there and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about React side effects. Um, so let me think, what is the best way to describe this section? Well, let's put it this way. So Robin is trying to store our searches in local storage, meaning uh, on whoever is pulling up the page or in that browser, you, there's a way to store information and that's what we're going to do. We're going to store the search term in on the client's computer. And what we're going to have to use for that is a hook, more specifically the use state hook. So every time uh, the search changes, remember we're using a state for that to keep track of the search, w the, the local storage gets updated and vice versa. Okay. So, all right, so let's just get started. So let me see what kind of changes we need to implement in our search component. So let's open up our search component. And I believe, oh, okay, yeah, uh, that's right. I keep forgetting that we only have one file with multiple components. So there's search, there's item, there's list and then there's app right uh okay so in our search component let me see uh actually you know what we're going to do this in the app component not in the search component so it's actually going to happen right here it's wherever this uh where we have the search term state so in this search in this component the app component um let's do it before handle change what we're going to do is we're going to introduce this use state. Local uh, storage get item. And we're going to we're going to name this item in local storage, which is like kind of like a local hard drive or um, or a local database, something very primitive, very uh, shouldn't be used for anything significant. Uh, definitely, definitely not. But for practice purposes and to emulate a database, maybe uh, or some sort of storage, local storage is great for that. So we're just going to store, um, uh, you know, the search term in local storage. And in this case, uh, I think that's it. So uh, we're saying local storage get item search. If, and if that doesn't exist, use the default key term react, right? Just like we did up here. And, um, and actually we're gonna replace So it's, it's like this, okay. And just for readability purposes, we're gonna put this on the next line. I'm just gonna, okay, cool. Okay, so that's the first part. Then, so that's getting the item, right? That's when we, uh, we're setting it to some sort of, we're setting search term to some sort of default value that either comes from local storage or it's react. So now what we want to do is every time there's a change, like in handle change, what we're going to do is after we call on set search term, we're going to set the local storage search item. And it's going to be equal to event dot target that value okay again all we did so far was set the default value default value for uh you know uh search term uh we get it from local storage now and if that doesn't exist we set it to react and then whenever there's a change we set it in, we set a search item in local storage to whatever the current search term is simple right so far all right, next up, uh, 
yeah, and I don't know if I misspoke earlier, but the hook that we're going to use is use effect. Uh, I don't know if I said uh, use state. It's use effect, that is. And what we're going to do there is... So somewhere maybe before uh, handle change here, we're going to introduce this hook, which is just a way to do something with doing a certain part of the React lifecycle. So React, obviously, when we load a page in React, there's many different, um, there's many different Parts. There's many different parts of the lifecycle to React. Uh, different things get called on at different times. Use effect is one of you know one way to hook into this lifecycle and do something at certain time, uh, like when the page first loads or the component first loads uh, or when the you know when there's a render and so on. And I don't and I don't know all the lifecycle hooks and I don't know all the different phases, all the different parts. But what you need to know is one way to hook into it is using use effect. And, and if you specify in array format the, the state, like in this case, search term, like at the end, so that's a second argument. So the first argument is what? A function. And the second argument is an array. And if you specify in one item in the array, that means that this will only be called this this function right here will only be called if this changes okay there's a way to do this without anything inside of it and completely removing it as well i believe so but we we want this to happen whenever search terms changes and what do we want to happen well we want to update local storage so every time there's a change in search we want to set the search um, the search item in local storage. What do we want to set it to? Well, we want to set it to search term. Okay. Uh, what else? And then in handle search, Actually, we don't need this anymore. So every time we update the search state, this use effect will automatically be called and uh, search in local storage will be updated. Okay, I believe I did uh, everything correctly. I'm gonna double check and make sure it works. Remember uh, to start it, uh, just gonna do npm start. All right, it's loading. There's the default value. So let's let's say I change it to Redux, right? Uh, so this should be now saved in local storage Redux. So if I open up a new term and look, it opened up to Redux instead of React, which was the default value. So if I close this all together and I open up a new window and go to local host 3000, there it is, Redux. So whatever we put in here, it's, gonna, it's now going to be saved. So if I type in uh, Rails, close it, open it back up, it's going to be set to Rails. All right, cool. Um, let me see. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. This is a uh, this is a tough topic. Hooks um, uh, a little bit tougher for me at least. Uh, I, you know, I'm still learning about it too. But one of the things that I that I found useful that Robin talked about is he says that leaving out the second argument to be specific. And I mentioned this too uh, a minute ago. Uh, the second he's talking about this uh, second item. Uh, let me see. Right here. You know how this this is the first item, and this is the second item, and he's talking about this, and he's saying that uh, you can leave out the second argument to be uh, the dependent. That's a dependency array, 
and would make the function for the side effect run on every render, initial render and update renders of the component. If the dependency array of react use effect is an empty array, the function for the side effect is only called once after the component renders for the first time. Uh, so, okay, what he's saying is that if the dependency array of react use effect is empty, so if it's empty, this will only get called once. If it's uh, if you have something inside of it, it'll be called every time there's an update. And there's a third way, I believe, where you just leave it out altogether. And that would mean that it's getting called, uh, I believe, on every render. Uh, leaving out the second argument, he's saying that if you leave this out, it will be called uh, on every render, initial render and update renders. Okay, cool. Um, all right, that's it. Uh, all right, till next time, take care. Do not forget to subscribe, share this video series um, so more people can learn uh, and I can create more videos. All right, guys, take care. Bye.